So here's a quick look at NewsRob version 121. We can uh, launch the app uh, from our app tray. I've got it in a uh, directory where I've got uh, a bunch of things, so I can just go ahead and launch that. And uh, if we were to look at the settings, you can see we've got settings like uh, auto-synchronize, so at a certain time it, it'll keep synchronizing. We can also select whether to download the actual content that appeared on the original article site. Uh, we can tell it at what interval we want it to synchronize. Uh, we can tell it whether we want those articles to be on the phone or SD card. Uh, we can also tell it how many articles to fetch at once. So if we go back and we refresh, uh, you can see that it will show us in the uh, status bar that a synchronization is running. And it's grabbed a few articles there. Uh, no entries updated. I've been updating this. And if we were to look at the list of articles, these are the articles that are here. Uh, I've been doing this a lot, so there's not a lot of articles, but right now I have the red ones to hidden. If I unhide them, then you can see these are all the, the red articles and the unread articles. And it remembers what was read or unread, and you can just swipe things back and forth. So if I wanted to keep this as unread, I can just swipe back, and now it is uh, unread. Or if I see things here that I, I know I don't want to read, I can just swipe them out. And the view that I like to actually have is uh, to hide those articles. Uh, let's go back here so that when I know what's left to read, and if I tap here, it'll actually open up that content. And then I can also mark read or unread simply by swiping in the title. And there's also navigation where if I touch in this area, I can swipe to the next article. So now I can go to the next article or the previous article just by swiping. So I can you know, read my content there, and then if I want to go back, I can swipe back to the previous article. And they're getting hidden right now, so you're not seeing them, but if I were to uh, unhide those and go back to my reading list, you can get a better idea of what that navigation looks like. So now here's uh, my articles, and I can swipe next, and it goes to the, the content. And the good thing is that since this is all offline, it's, it's grabbing this content and, and at each swipe, there's no net access, so I can really quickly flip through a bunch of articles here. And maybe there's one that I want to keep as unread, so I can do that. I can swipe, and you know, if I see one that I want to star, I can go ahead and star it, and then it'll save there as well.